Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to update you on upcoming severe weather, plus the deception of spring is what it's looking like with this cold front coming through, so you know what to expect. Plus, we have some changes coming at the end of April. Now, I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I will explain at the end of the video. It's some pretty serious things going on on my end, but first, let's get to the weather. That can always wait till later. Now you can see as we get that surface low in the Gulf, it is bringing just disorganized thunderstorms, guys, still bringing the flooding. But as you go into later tonight and tomorrow morning, it's going to bring a lot of storms towards New Orleans area, southern Louisiana, as well as southern Florida as you go through tomorrow. So that's going to bring some more storms to y'all. And so far, the flooding is getting hit the hardest for Louisiana. Now, so far, National Weather Service is bringing up where you're having about an inch of rainfall in the south, but you could get over two inches for southern Louisiana. But when you go by the latest on the Euro, the 6Z this morning, you can see that it really gets a lot heavier than what the National Weather Service model shows. It shows you could get over four inches for New Orleans and the West Bank area, even the North Shore getting a lot of rainfall. But you can see also for Southern Florida, it's gonna add up for tomorrow and some more on Thursday. Where you're getting towards the Miami area, a little bit heavier rainfall and Florida Keys. Y'all can get two, three inches of more rain coming your way. Now that is bringing your heavy rain and your potential flash flooding in the marginal, but this is gonna bring also with this pattern way above average temperatures up here for the upper Midwest as well as the Northeast. But at the same time, we're only about two to three weeks above average. So it will start panning out. This is actually a deception of spring. And you can see this on National Weather Service. So for today, our very high temperatures going all the way to the upper Midwest, getting into the high 80s. For tomorrow, this is going to move a little bit further towards Wisconsin and the UP. A big hot pocket of high 80s, guys. Big hot temperatures coming. And for Thursday, it's going to slowly start moving towards the east. And for Friday, it's going to move those 80s towards the New England states and the northeast. Very hot temperatures coming in. This is your highs. And for Saturday and Sunday, it's going to start changing because we have this cold front coming through. And you can see for your lows, as you go through Saturday, you start getting this very cold anomaly coming through the Rocky Mountains and upper Midwest. And as you go through Sunday, it starts moving a little bit further towards the south. So very colder temperatures coming through all the way until Monday. This is your morning lows. So this is the coldest is going to get on that cold front. It did go way further to the north, and that was expected because we we're on a big warm-up. And you can also see this on National Weather Service 6 to 10 day temperature probability. Well below average temperatures all the way to the south, but it's really going to be cold for the upper Midwest and the Ohio Valley. It's not going freezing temperatures all the way to the south. But this is where your severe weather is going to start. So as you go through Saturday on the 15th, you have some cold temperatures coming down, but you see how it's not reaching all the way to the south. And with your wind chills, this is actually the coldest you're going to feel. It's going to feel like you're in the 20s. The Rocky Mountains might feel like the single digits. But well above average for everybody else. It's just a cold pocket pushing through. But at the same time, your highs for Saturday is going to be very warm. All these very warm temperatures moving from the south, bringing a lot of instability in the atmosphere. And there is some severe weather. But it's not going to be no severe weather outbreak. It's not going to be no tornado outbreak. You can see here with your dew points. As you go into Friday, it starts bringing some high dew points all the way from Texas and Oklahoma. But it's not going all the way to the upper Midwest. Everybody else will just see thunderstorms and some snow coming down, believe it or not. And as you go through Saturday, it's going to move a little bit further to the south with the high dew points. And then move further to the southeast. Not a really big outbreak going on at all. But with all these warm temperatures going all the way up towards Canada, it is bringing a lot of convection, a lot of buoyancy in the south. And you can see how big and severe it is with the strongest being in the Gulf. And that's the main part is I see that Texas could have a problem with this also for Louisiana. So as you go from Friday into Saturday, you get a lot of buoyancy for Texas, for Oklahoma, a lot of Cape, a lot of lift. But it does stay mostly in the south. Now, you can see it raises all the way up towards Missouri. You don't have to worry about this being a severe weather outbreak. If you see that, that is a lie, guys. So far, I see chances for large hail and some thunderstorms coming out of this. And that's about it. Now, you can see this on the Euro that as you go Wednesday into Thursday, you do get a surface low. Still brings you all those thunderstorms towards Louisiana the most. And it does strengthen down a little bit down to 1,005 millibars. 
but then it moves on. And then as we go Friday into Saturday, then we start getting that surface low building up over Oklahoma, and we start getting these storms in the south, guys. These storms are going to remain in the south. Now, you have storms that's moving up here, but it's not showing a lot of severe weather for here. This should be regular severe thunderstorms. But in the south, especially the Gulf of Mexico, there is a chance for some large hail. And you can see this on your lightning strikes as you go into Saturday morning, a lot of storms. But in the south, as you go to Saturday evening around 3 and 4 p.m., you get a real nasty line of chance for large hail. All that white is indicative to outrageous amount of lightning strikes, a strengthening storm, and that could bring you chances for the hail. But you also can see how it goes right towards the Gulf of Mexico with all of that strength. A lot of storms just headed down south into the Gulf. So it's not going to spread to the southeast, but we do have Saturday evening our strongest day. But it's not going all the way up to Wisconsin. This is all thunderstorms. Your severe weather will be in the south. And you can see this on an update from National Weather Service for Friday going into Saturday. You have a 15% risk for Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Here's your cities and states at risk. But you can also see with the cold front from National Weather Services, as we go late Wednesday into Thursday, it is bringing some snow on a wraparound while these severe storms start moving towards the southeast. And as you go through Friday, it's just going to turn into rainfall and storms for everybody else. It's not going to be a big snowstorm. It's just going to be a little bit while everybody else is just in thunderstorms. Not a severe outlook for it. And how much is coming out of that is still unknown, guys. So you can see how the Ural's bringing some towards the northwest bringing some towards the Rocky Mountains and everything else is pushing towards Canada or maybe way far northern Wisconsin and the UP getting in on some snowfall and maybe one to two inches for the intercoastal northeast, but it's widely spread. GFS takes it further south where maybe Wisconsin can get hit. Take that with a grain of salt. It's only seen by the GFS, but the Canadian sees a hot spot maybe towards Iowa. So it's still too far to know where the snowfall is going to fall because we're going to have a lot of warm temperatures. Plus, you also can see on our potential velocity anomaly that we are coming into a favorable environment as we go from the middle of April all the way towards the end of April, right off the East Coast. And we have another potential storm coming in from the Northwest right around the 17th and 18th that could be affecting the West Coast. I will update you, but you'll see as you go towards the late April, you're getting a lot of lift right on the East Coast. And we could get something to form out there now. However, I looked in all the ensembles. This is not coming towards the U.S. at all. This, if it does anything, will stay in the Atlantic. But it's already starting to form up. We're starting to get a lot of lift in late April. So as you can see, there's not a lot going on. Just like I said a few days ago, we're going into a little bit of a break where there's only a little bit of severe weather coming in now. However, watch out for these storms. Watch out for this flash flooding. Now, I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday. As y'all know, I've been attacked so many times on this channel it's kind of like boot camp in the military where they just run you to death i'm used to it by now it's not really a big deal but this time they attacked one of my banks i have a few banks i'm trying to start this open business where i feed people from this place where they can always get a hot meal for someone that's on the street that wants some food i'm trying to make that happen where they always have a place to get a hot meal every day just trying to get something going where I really feel good about giving to people. And I think this will really be good to try and be a hot meal. And at the same time, my bank got attacked. So I had to stop everything and get everything going on. And what they actually did is they're using apps, guys. So they, they connected through an app on my bank from Google Play. And someone in Texas tried taking money. Someone in California tried taking money. It was just all over the place. But it's okay. Everything's just fine. I just had to get things in order yesterday that's why i didn't upload but no big deal this will never stop us i never put my eggs in one basket matter of fact way past due but let's pick our winner from our last video cynthia hickman congratulations you are the winner of the solar weather station make sure you contact me at this email weathermanplustoday at gmail.com that way i can ship this out to you as soon as possible Thanks for the update, Mr. Weatherman. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for being a subscriber and supporting my channel. God bless you, ma'am. I hope you do like it. Remember, guys, we are giving away another one for tomorrow. This is not going to stop.
But that's it, real quick and simple. Just a quick update, let you know what was going on. As you can see, there's not really anything big just yet. But I can show that it is starting to pop off as we go towards late April and the beginning of May. Really, I think we're going to start seeing some more of our severe weather. So we'll keep you updated. God bless all of you. Thank you so much for being a supporter on my channel. I do appreciate it. This is not going to be the last time I'm going to be attacked, but it's okay. I know God has me. And at the same time, I like to refresh the memory of Isaiah 41.10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will help thee. Yes, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. And how true that is. God told me a long time ago, never put all my eggs in one basket. And I don't, guys. I have it spread out. And I'm trying to do more things. He's not going to stop me. Whoever's attacking me, they can keep doing what they're going to do. I'm going to keep doing what I'm going to do. And I really want to open up this shop where I can feed people on the daily with some hot meals. I think that's very important. If you have hot food in your belly, you can go on and try and better yourself. You can go look for a job. You can go get what you need to get for your family. So that's something I'm really trying to work towards upcoming in my life is just try and get a somewhat a kitchen open for people that need food daily. But as always, thank you so much for your time. Hope you all have a very blessed Tuesday out there. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And if anything ever happens to you, he will strengthen you. He will bring you right back to fullness. That is what he loves to do. Nothing is stronger than God out there. Nothing. Nothing compares. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I will see you again tomorrow morning.